Have you ever dreamed of exploring the ancient city of Kyoto? Imagine wandering through serene temples, tasting unique delicacies, and immersing yourself in the rich history and culture. Welcome to Kyoto, one of Japan's most historic cities and the heart of traditional Japanese culture. Nestled among lush mountains and vibrant cityscapes, Kyoto is a city where the ancient and the modern blend seamlessly, creating an experience that is truly unique. Once the imperial capital of Japan for over a thousand years, Kyoto is a city that has witnessed the ebb and flow of history, its streets echoing with tales of samurais, shoguns and emperors. It is a city that has been shaped by the hands of time, yet has remained resilient, preserving its rich cultural heritage and traditions. Today, Kyoto is renowned for its captivating beauty and charm. From the picturesque cherry blossom trees that paint the city pink in spring, to the stunning autumn leaves that set the city ablaze with color, Kyoto is a city that enchants its visitors season after season. But Kyoto is more than just a feast for the eyes. It's a city that invites you to experience its culture through your senses. Taste the unique flavors of Kyoto cuisine, from the delicate sweetness of matcha tea to the savory richness of kaiseki ryori. Listen to the soothing sounds of the koto, a traditional Japanese instrument, as it echoes through the silent temples. Feel the delicate texture of kimono fabric, each thread telling a story of meticulous craftsmanship. In this video, we will guide you through seven of Kyoto's most captivating attractions. From the iconic Kinkaku-ji, the golden pavilion that shimmers in the sunlight, to the bustling Nishiki Market, the kitchen of Kyoto, each location offers a unique glimpse into the soul of Kyoto. So, whether you're a history buff, a foodie, an art enthusiast, or simply a wanderer in search of beauty and tranquility, Kyoto has something to offer. Stay tuned as we embark on a journey through Kyoto's most captivating attractions. Our first stop is the city's historic landmarks where the past comes alive. Kyoto, a city steeped in history and culture, is home to numerous landmarks that have withstood the test of time. Among these, two stand out due to their cultural and historical significance, Kinkaku-ji, also known as the Golden Pavilion, and Fushimi Inari Taisha. Let's first delve into Kinkaku-ji. This Zen Buddhist temple is a spectacle for the eyes, glistening in gold leaf against a backdrop of lush gardens and a reflecting pond. But the Golden Pavilion is not just a pretty face, its three-tiered structure represents three forms of Buddhist cosmology, the Palace of Dharma Waters, the Tower of Sound Waves, and the Ten Stage Tower. Each tier is a testament to the fusion of Heian period aristocracy and Zen Buddhism. The golden exterior is symbolic, reflecting the purity of the Buddha, while the surrounding water elements signify the Buddhist concept of the fluidity of life. Next, we venture to Fushimi Inari Taisha, one of the most iconic sites in Kyoto. This Shinto shrine is famed for its vermilion tori gates, which number in the thousands and create a mesmerizing pathway up the Inari mountain. These gates are donations from individuals and companies, a testament to the enduring belief in Inari, the god of rice and agriculture. As you traverse the Tori Tunnel, you'll encounter numerous fox statues. In Shinto belief, foxes are considered the messengers of Inari, adding another layer of spiritual depth to this remarkable landmark. Both Kinkaku-ji and Fushimi Inari Taisha not only offer stunning visuals, but also a tangible connection to Japan's past. They are living symbols of the country's rich cultural tapestry, embodying centuries of tradition, belief and architectural prowess. These landmarks offer a glimpse into Kyoto's past, providing a deep understanding of its rich history. Next, we venture into Kyoto's beautiful natural landscapes. We find ourselves amidst the enchanting Arashiyama Bamboo Grove, a place that seems to have been plucked straight from a fairy tale. The towering bamboo stalks sway gently in the wind, their soft rustling sound creating a serene symphony that captivates every visitor. This grove isn't just a visual spectacle though, it's a testament to the resilience and grace of nature, standing tall through the centuries. From there we move to the Philosopher's Path, a tranquil walkway flanked by hundreds of cherry trees. 
named after a famous Japanese philosopher who found inspiration walking this path, it's a favorite spot for soul searchers and nature lovers. During spring, the cherry blossoms bloom, transforming the path into a tunnel of soft pink petals. It's a sight that truly embodies the ephemeral beauty of life. Kyoto's natural beauty is a sight to behold, a perfect blend of tranquility and breathtaking sights. Now, let's delve into Kyoto's culinary scene, where flavors come to life. Our first stop is the bustling Nishiki Market, often referred to as Kyoto's Kitchen. This five-block-long marketplace is a sensory overload, with hundreds of stalls selling everything from fresh produce to kitchenware. But what truly makes Nishiki Market a food lover's paradise are the countless vendors selling a variety of traditional Japanese delicacies. As you wander through this labyrinth of flavors, you'll find a plethora of street food options. The aroma of freshly grilled yakitori, skewers of succulent chicken, wafts through the air. Nearby, a vendor expertly slices sashimi, the freshest raw fish you'll ever taste. And how about trying a piece of tamagoyaki, a sweet and savory rolled omelette that's a staple in Japanese cuisine? For the adventurous, there's an array of exotic offerings. You might want to taste tsukamono, a traditional pickled vegetable, or perhaps a skewer of baby octopus, a popular snack that's as tasty as it is unique. And let's not forget about matcha-flavored treats, a true Kyoto specialty. From matcha ice cream to matcha mochi, these green tea-infused goodies are a must-try. But the culinary journey doesn't end in Nishiki Market. Kyoto is renowned for its kaiseki ryori, a traditional multi-course meal that's as much an art form as it is a dining experience. Each dish, meticulously prepared and beautifully presented, reflects the season and the chef's creativity. For those with a sweet tooth, wagashi, traditional Japanese sweets often served with tea, are a delight. These delicacies, made from natural ingredients like azuki beans and mochi, are a testament to Japanese craftsmanship and a sweet end to any meal. Kyoto's culinary scene is a melting pot of flavors, where tradition meets innovation. Each bite tells a story of the city's rich history and its love for food. It's a gastronomic adventure that's sure to leave you craving for more. Whether you're a foodie or not, Kyoto's culinary scene is sure to tantalize your taste buds. Our final stop takes us to the world of traditional Japanese art. In the heart of Kyoto lies Gion, a district renowned for its timeless traditions. This area, with its well-preserved machia houses and cobblestone streets, is the epitome of old-world charm. It is here, in the soft glow of lantern-lit tea houses, that you'll find the geishas. These are not just women of exceptional beauty, but also masters of traditional Japanese arts, dance, music, and the tea ceremony. A short journey away, the Kyoto International Manga Museum awaits. This place is a testament to the modern evolution of Japanese artistry. Housing an impressive collection of manga that spans several decades, it's a playground for those who appreciate this unique style of storytelling. These places offer a unique perspective into Japanese art, showcasing its diversity and depth. From the delicate grace of a geisha's dance to the vibrant panels of a manga, Kyoto's artistic spirit is truly a feast for the senses. We've explored Kyoto's historic landmarks, natural beauty, culinary delights, and artistic wonders, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. We began our journey at the heart of this ancient city, where timeless architectural marvels like Kinkakuji, the Golden Pavilion, and the Fushimi Inari Shrine stand as testaments to Kyoto's rich historical legacy. We then sauntered through the lush landscapes of Arashiyama Bamboo Grove and the Philosopher's Path, immersing ourselves in the serene beauty that Kyoto has to offer. Our taste buds were not left out of the adventure, as we relished in the vibrant flavors of Kyoto's traditional cuisine. We savored the savory delights of Kaiseki Ryori, a multi-course Japanese meal, and sipped on matcha tea, a local favorite. We also immersed ourselves in the world of traditional Japanese art. We marveled at the intricate details of kimonos, admired the delicate brushstrokes of Japanese calligraphy, and let the soothing sounds of the koto, a traditional Japanese stringed instrument, serenade us. But remember, these are just seven of the many gems that Kyoto has to offer. 
Each corner of this city has a story to tell, a flavor to share, a sight to behold. It's a city that invites you to dive in, to explore, to discover. So why not embark on your own journey? Experience Kyoto's magic firsthand. Find that hidden shrine tucked away in a quiet neighborhood. Taste that local delicacy from a street vendor. Admire that piece of art that speaks to your soul. Kyoto is a city that's waiting to be discovered, to be experienced, to be loved. It's a city that's waiting for you. We hope this journey has inspired you to experience Kyoto's unique allure. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and tell us your thoughts or experiences about Kyoto in the comments below.